Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RHCSA practice exam series and we are at question number 19. So we will be creating logical volume in this video. So the question is about node 0 2 RHCSA 9 as a RHCSA 9 user. We will be performing the action on node 0 2. So let's see what it is asking us to do. Create a new volume group with the name data VG1 with the physical volume extent 16 MB. Now pay attention, this is not giving you the direct size. This is asking you to create a volume group with the specific physical extent size. Then create a new logical volume with the name data LB1 and the size will be 100x. So instead of giving you in MB or GB, it is giving you 100 extents. So how do you calculate that? When you create a physical one extent is 16 MB. So you will create single extent of 16 MB volume, uh, volume group. If you assign 100 extent, that means you have to multiply 16 into 100. So it will be basically 1.6 GB volume. So you have to do this calculation. And then file should be uh, formatted with the HD3 and the logical volume should be automatically mounted under data 1 at the boot time. Alright, so let's begin solving this one. So let's find out what are the disks available that can fulfill our requirement. LSPLK, this we just used in our previous video to create swap. Now we have two additional disks available here. So both are 2 GB, 2 GB and our requirement is 1.6 GB. If you multiply 16 into 100, 1.6 GB. So any of this disk will be our, can be our candidate disk. But we will be using sequential order so we can use SDC. Right? So SDC will be our candidate. But before I move forward, I want to show you this physical extent setting. So let's clear this. If we check VG display, there is only one volume group in the system uh, and it has 4 MB as physical extent. So this, this is the default behavior. If you do not mention, when you create a volume group and you do not mention the physical extent size, it will create with 4 MB. So if you make that mistake out here, if you create data VG without mentioning the physical extent, it will create 4 MB extent. And if you allocate 100 extent to that logical volume, it will create 400 MB logical volume, not 1.6 MB. So you have to be very careful. Read the question very carefully. All right. So this is this is the only thing that I have to remind you in this question. Now let's go ahead and use SDC as our candidate disk. So we will partition SDC to new, sorry, new, number one, default, default, 8E00, learn about this, as I said earlier, right, yes, we don't part. Wrong. This command is not really necessary, but just in case. Okay. So we created a partition on SDC, a single partition. We use the entire disk. All right. So we will use this one to create physical volume. This step is also not necessary, but I'm just for the for your understanding. I'm going through it step by step because if you use VG create and assign the physical volume it will automatically create the physical volume for you so, but we are creating it manually all right so now this is the very important command that you have to make sure that you use it correctly this is where we are creating a volume group VG create and assigning the minus s flag will tell this VG create that this volume group will be created with 16 MB as a physical extent and we will be assigning SDC1 to this volume group. <coughs> so 
So, all right. So, we created this one. Now, we will create the logical volume. So, with L, we create, we'll create logical volume and we are assigning minus small l is for the extent minus capital L will be for the size. We will be using that option in our next video. So, minus L is the extent. So, it is asking us to create 100 extent. So, we are giving 100 extent here. Minus name is data LB1, data LB1, and data VG1. This is the one we create. So, this command will create a logical volume. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and verify sudo vg display whether our this volume was created with 16 mb yes it was created with 16 mb and then we will say sudo lb display it will display all logical volumes this is a root this will be swap and this is the one which we created so if we want to check just that LB display so the volume which we created logical volume the details are here so as you can see logical volume size is 1.6 nearly 1.6 GB it runs up and it has uh, extent 100 extent right? and because the, the volume group has 16 MB extent so that's why we see this size as 1.6 GB almost Alright, so this part has been done. Now we will format it with the ext3 file system. So we took the volume group from here. As you can see, let me answer that. So we will take the volume group from here. Alright, we will format them. It's very quick. Then we will create this directory. It already exists. I might have created it before, so let's mount it on that one and see if it is mounted. So yes, our logical volume, this one is mounted 1.6 GB, available as this and mounted on data 0. The next thing we have to automate that on the reboot so that we don't lose our changes. So we will use FS tab and add the entry in fs tab so just to make it look more neat we will just do a proper indentation just to make sure the formatting is correct and that's it so and for that to verify you don't necessarily have to reboot mount minus a will verify your fs tab changes so that's it. So this completes our answer here. So thank you for watching and have a good day.